Kanjarov experience. In three, two, one. Hello, Freak Pitches. You're with the Jorgen experience, and today we have a special guest. Hello, friends. I am the special guest in the Jorgen experience. It's me, Tunjarov. I know you love seeing me here. And Joe, thank f- thanks for asking. It was pretty amazing day. I just woke out before I came here. And yeah, how was your day? How did your day start? Oh, you woke out before you came to the studio. That's nice. I woke up at 3 a.m. and I did some yoga. Then I didn't eat until 1 p.m. Then I woke out and I woke out again. And my des- day consists of work, working out, and yoga, and a little bit of eating, and eating some elk meat. That's the Joe Rogan experience, guys. Hello everybody, as you heard, Joe, Joe Tunjarov from back there, we will be doing a full 24 hours of living like the man himself, Joe Rogan, he's a little bit crazy for my standards, he wakes up at 3 a.m. as we heard, he work, works out three times as Conor McGregor did, of course, you have to squeeze everything out of me, and he eats two times, three, two times, right? No, no, three times. He eats three times a day. He eats elk. I won't be able to get elk, but we we'll figure something uh, for compromise. And yeah, let me know down in the comments, uh, like who you want me to live like in the next video. Leave a like if you're feeling good today. If you're feeling like giving likes to me, to Jaru, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe to help me grow the community and become a one big wonderful family in this channel. See you in a second. Okay, guys, if you thought, if I thought Conor McGregor was bad and waking up early at 7, Joe fucking Rogan wakes at 3 a.m. Look at that. 3.22. And it's now 3 a.m. And oddly, I am awake. Because we are doing a whole day living like Joe Warren. And yeah. And I am awake at 3 a.m. Who the fuck even wakes that early? What are you going to do? Okay guys, it's 3.20 in the morning, I don't know who wakes up that early, but I guess Joe does, so we do. And I'm a big believer in a lot of things that Joe says, and one of that is you have to struggle. It will either be made struggle, you made your own struggle, or it will be unwanted struggle that life will give you and you won't be prepared for it so since you have to struggle willingly so you're prepared for the time you struggle unwillingly and this thing that people do where they avoid discomfort it sounds ridiculous but it just creates more discomfort you don't realize that in forcing yourself to do something very uncomfortable that you can control like an ice bath like a sauna like a run like a a workout you are eliminating another form of discomfort you can do that i torture myself physically i'm always working out i'm always exhausted i'm always taking ice baths i was in the sauna before i got here i'm always doing something Always. If I have a day where I just lay around, I'm like, this is weird. To strengthen your mind, strengthen your body, and to be ready. So, I don't want to fucking coach our adult. I hate it. Especially at 3 a.m. But we'll do a quick one just to wake myself up and to prove to myself I can go under the culture. And 
after that, Joe fasts for 16 hours. So until 1 p.m. we are not eating shit. I don't know what I will do, but we are not eating anything. And we have to do yoga and work on some stuff. So I'll have a quick warm up uh, for the because the cold shower made me tremble like a little girl. And I'll warm up a little bit and our first meal of the day will be water and I'll prepare some coffee for later. And this is our first and only meal until around 1 p.m. So we will be dying of starvation. But what can you do? Oh, and after I warm up, we have to do yoga. I have never done yoga, but okay, guys. First meal of today. It's getting ready. And the second part of the first meal of today. It looks delicious, right? What do you think? Yeah, it looks nice. I'll probably die from starvation, but not of dehydration at least. But we are awake. And for the next part, <sighs> you, you just see. Okay, guys, I guess I'm not the only crazy enough dude, motherfucker, that will be awake at 4 o'clock in the morning. Are you keeping me company, my friend? Oh. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> guys, it is fucking black dark outside you can't see shit okay guys the second part of our meal a nice good coffee and I actually feel a lot more energized at 3 what time is it 3.45 at the moment yeah, I feel a lot more energized, to be honest. Maybe it will wear off later in the day, but we'll see. So we'll do a quick warm up, quick little shadow box, and we'll go straight for the yogurt. Okay, we need to change clothes. <coughs> okay, think we are good. All I know is that if I give up and it's over, but if I keep going, every day's a bit closer. Highs and the lows feels like a roller coaster, it's never over. I gotta find a way to get inspired in this life. Stop looking out and start looking inside. Find what I love and take a little pride. Anything is better than complaining about life. I don't need help, I could do it by myself. No pain, no gain, I will go through hell. Do what it takes, I will break out of my shell. I'm never coming back because I'm going on now. Yeah, 
<laughs> my favorite warm up uh, machine. Oops. I didn't. If you tell me yesterday, I wouldn't believe I'll be doing the ball at 340 in the morning. But I'm so bad now because I'm so not in the right place. Still, still sleepy. Still, my eyes are a little bit fucked. Not partake in any kind of boxing activities while we are asleep. Kids, you became you become ten times worse. Motherfuck. Okay, okay, I quit. Okay guys, it's yoga time. Let's put our mat and see what we're going to do. Hello, free dishes. And it's the Joe Rogan here into the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> okay, guys, so it's 4.30 in the morning almost. And I guess after the workout, Joe likes to have uh, some work done. He's working on his podcast, but I guess we still don't have a podcast. A little bit of spoilers here still we'll have it soon enough and uh, we'll be working on some videos i guess joe if you'd like to invite me to your podcast i will come okay i will come you just have to pay for my tickets uh, plane tickets you have to pay for my hotel food and someone to drive me to your podcast but I'm a pretty interesting individual, so I guess it will be worth it. You will get a lot of money and you already have a lot of money, so it wouldn't be a problem for you, I guess. Well, first of all, I have what you call fuck you money. And if you have fuck you money, you don't say fuck you. What's the point of having the fuck you money? Right? Okay, Joe, if you're watching this video, invite me to your podcast. Okay, look, look, I have headphones and I have a microphone. I think I'm ready for the podcast, okay? We will talk a lot about a lot of stuff. And I guess we're similar in a way because Joe just posted something about uh, the Satan stuff, some weird stuff and like this. And I'm weird, I guess, if I'm like Joe waking up at 3 a.m. So, we'll do some work, right? Okay, guys. So, okay, so after the work's done, we have a lot of time left. It's six o'clock, around six o'clock. Joe then goes either goes to the sauna or the 
separation tank, something like that. We don't have either of those. So what we'll be doing is uh, drink some more coffee, warm up some more, maybe get some more work done. And at around 10, we'll be going for our first workout of the day. We'll be doing some M MMA training, probably some more into the grappling because Joe is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He loves grappling. He's a big advocate of it. So I'll be doing some grappling, teaching some stuff because me myself is, I am an international Balkan champion in grappling, Nogi, uh, in ADCC. So I know a lot of stuff about grappling as a whole. I am a very good grappler. I would love some time to grapple a little bit with Joe, show him some stuff, teach him something. Joe, if you're watching this, you can come here. I'll make a place for you to sleep, like this couch. Or we'll get you a nice little hotel. We'll figure something out to grab a little bit with you, but stay tuned. And yeah, like and subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for sure. See you for the training. Cheers, friends. We'll have a quick coffee and we're going into the next part. See you in a sec. And nice to see you again. So it finally is normal time for like normal people, not three o'clock. It's 9.30. But I'm still very sleepy. I don't know, probably I will make another coffee. Let's make another coffee. Uh, coffee. Still drinking a lot of water. Because that is the only meal that we can have because Joe is fasting and we still have three more hours of fasting. But now I'm waiting for my friend and we are going into the gym. We are going into the grappling session. So see you there. Okay guys, so it's raining, but it doesn't matter. We're going to do some MMA training because Joe Rogan loves MMA training. He's a big believer. After all, he's the UFC commentator. So we'll do some grappling, some heavy back, just Light stuff. Yep. You're never gonna make it. You're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different, man? You must be kidding. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible. It's not probable. You're irresponsible. Too many obstacles. You gotta stop it, yo. You gotta take it slow. You can't be a pro. Don't waste your time no more. Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove. I'm gonna make my move. I'm gonna make it soon. And I'll do it because it's what I wanna fucking do. Because all these opinions and all these positions, they come in in millions. They block in your vision. But no, you can't listen. That shit is all fiction. Because you hold the power you're as long as you're driven. Make it. There's no way that you make it And maybe you can fake it But you're never gonna make it Aren't you just gonna take that? Make them take it all back Don't tell me you believe that Aren't you just gonna take that? Or will you fucking fight back? And you're not that great, man Stop what you're saying Stop what you're making Everybody here knows That you just fake it Nah, I don't wanna hear it anymore I don't wanna hear it anymore All these fucking thoughts They are not what I need anymore I'm about to shut the motherfucking door On all you poor ass haters With your heads in the clouds Talking out loud so proud You better shut your goddamn mouth Before I do more speak out It's about to head south never gonna make it There's no way that you make it And maybe you can fake it But you're never gonna make it Aren't you just gonna take that? Make them take it all back. Don't tell me you believe that. Are 
Cause you just gonna take that Or will you fucking fight back? All the pain that you're going through It won't last if you move how you wanna move Get lost in the work that you gotta do To be someone better you can grow into something new I could be anything that I set my mind to I do what I need, I can push right through Fight through those things that are holding me back From the life that I like to have I'm like, give me time, I'll be just fine You thought I was worth leaving behind You're out of your mind I'll come back better than ever No matter the weather Greater than I've ever been That's my new endeavor Woo! I work hard to the sweat coming off my chin On par with the greatest that I've ever done it I'm new, coming back better than before But don't look at me Cause you close the door So watch out and fear me now I can get real mean if you tell me out I can get real green, got me hulking now I don't forget those things, don't hear me loud I focus on myself, I focus on my health The greatest revenge is building up yourself Your life and your drive building up your wealth Becoming something better than you've ever felt uh. If you got dreams that you're chasing The fear in your life, stand up and face it Ain't nobody coming to help, you're all alone in this world in this life, embrace it I know it might seem hard, it might seem tough, it may sound rough But this state of mind will get you through a lot of stuff And keep you accountable to stay strong when it's tough No help, I do it by myself, couldn't even tell it, I've been through well But on the other side came a soldier, much bolder, standing broad shoulders Step aside and give me the controller, I came here to win, I don't lose hot roller I wanna be the best in the game, yeah I came to play and invest that colder Oh, you're here. Okay, so the training was fucking brutal. My whole body hurts, but it doesn't matter. We taught my friend a little bit of stuff. We did some wrestling, some wrestling exercises, and now finally it's 12 p.m. and finally we are able to eat. 16 hours. My last meal was this. At 7, 8 o'clock yesterday and now 16 hours, hours later first meal so Joe eats a lot of weird stuff I don't have that kind of stuff in my grocery shop nearby he eats bison I don't even know what that is so we'll be eating for our first clean meal we'll be eating chicken which we'll heat a little bit into the air fryer clean no oil nothing we'll be eating some mushrooms to the side and some salad and that will be it for first meal probably I'll be as hungry as I am now after the meal but though it's clean so we're going to be eating clean see you in a second so see first meal of the day actual meal of the day some mushrooms because Joy is a bit advocate of mushrooms some salad second one but they are pretty light so it's understandable he's probably still hungry and after that we are going for our second training we've done half of the part of the weighted training in the gym and the second part we'll do here we'll do some dumbbell exercises some squats some uh, not dips yeah whatever you see and yeah see you in a second for the second meal okay guys we are in the cooking house again so it's time for meal number two we'll have some fish 
some more mushrooms because Joe likes mushrooms and not only these mushrooms, if you know what I mean. And some eggs. Let's get to cooking. Okay friends, so meal number two, some fish, eggs and some mushrooms, pretty lean and some water to stay hydrated and probably still will be hungry. I don't like fish very much and eggs, but it's a Joe Rogan day, so we'll eat fish and eggs. I guess uh, all of them celebrities eat fish and eggs, which is a horrible combination in my opinion, but it is what it is. I would like some sauce with it, but Joe eats as lean as possible with no sugars, no anything. And we we'll eat this raw stuff. Okay. Okay, so the fish was disgusting, but I'm not a big fan of fish. I only like one or two kinds and the other not so good. We'll do some weighted training, some sit-ups, some squats and some more exercises. So see you there. Okay guys, into workout number two. Let's see, the first wasn't really a workout, it was... Eh, let's see, it was something. So we're starting off with some squats. They're a little bit weird squats that I haven't done, but yeah, like this, I have to squat. Okay guys, so the next exercise will be W, Y and T. So we go like this once, like this and like this. And Okay guys, this concludes workout number two, Joe, number three, sorry, I've been saying number two, but it's, no, it's number two, right? Never mind, okay, if you want to get the abs like mine, click that subscribe button, and now we are up for meal number three, with, which is uh, Joe, you eat elk, but first, I don't have 
elk meat. I can't find elk meat, elk meat. And even if I did find, probably it will be way too expensive for my pocket. So we will be eating steak and some salad again. Still clean, still healthy. Leave a like and subscribe. After all the workouts, after waking at 3 a.m. 3 fucking a.m. It's time for meal number 3, which will be some steak because I can't, we don't have elk meat here and I don't know where to find some. So we'll eat this, have some mushrooms and a cucumber or a salt. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get to cooking. Master Chef. Okay, guys, something served with me. Salt babe. Come on. What the fuck is going on? It seemed easy when you have a good knife. Joe Rogan made it look easier in one of his videos. Come on, Salama bitch. Get over here. I think we are set. We'll put on 20 minutes. See you in a sec. Okay guys, we're ending the night with meal number three. It's seven o'clock, seven p.m. and I'm get starting to get very sleepy. So we'll be eating that, we'll getting a cup of tea. And, uh, Joe doesn't take a cup of tea, but I want to take a cup of tea. I don't think he would mind. So let's get to eating and we'll see you in a second. Okay friends, so this concludes our 24 hours as Joe, motherfucking Rogan. Joe, you're a crazy man. You, if you really wake up every day at 3 a.m. and do all this, no wonder you are... <laughs> no wonder you are a multi-millionaire. I will take some advice from you. Hopefully one day we'll meet at the top. And we're ending the night with a little bit of tea, as you can see, and honey, natural honey, real, real honey. Not this fake bullshit that we are here all eating. And that is for the video. Leave a like. Don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to go the community and join the family. See you in the next video.